Hi everybody, this is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, Texas, and welcome. Welcome to our video commentaries. You know, from time to time, we're going to be doing these video commentaries to go along with some of my articles at the American Thinker, as well as some of the podcasts that we do that you can hear in this page or my blog or, or so on. But today we're going to talk about the big news of the day, which is, of course, DACA, uh, the program that uh, President Obama implemented several years ago and was rescinded today by President Trump with a six-month window so that the Congress will, will fix the problem. I completely support President Trump on this. I think it was a huge mistake what President Obama did. Even for someone like me who actually believes and supports that many of these young people should be legalized, because as I said, I've met some of them. Most of them are young people who've grown up in the United States. They came here with their parents uh, when they were youngsters, and they've grown up here. This is what the country that they know. And I have always supported some kind of legalization for them, but it should be done correctly. It was not done correctly by President Obama. He decided to do it by executive order. He decided to do it the worst possible way that a president can fix a problem. He should have sent it to Congress and basically had the Congress work on it, but he didn't. He decided to do it by executive order. And now we have this horrible mess that we have about 800,000 young people who thought that they were operating under a plan but are learning the hard way that that plan actually was never the law of the land. This is why you have Congress do these things. Because once the Congress passes a law and the president signs the law, then it becomes a law of the land. And then it doesn't matter who's president because that law of the land is what applies to these situations. Well, I think there's a big lesson here for the dreamers. And the lesson is that in the future, you should not believe in what one person is telling you, in this case Obama, who was basically telling these youngsters what they wanted to hear. And you should believe in the Constitution of the United States, because that's ultimately the instrument that is going to get you what you want. So hopefully the Congress can legalize some of these youngsters. I support legalization, certain parameters. I don't think all of them will qualify, but most of them probably will. They can be legalized so that they can live in the United States without the fear of deportation. But again, I think this is a big lesson for everybody. And the lesson is we live in a country where the Constitution has the last word, not an executive order, not a president, but the Constitution has the last word. And that's a big lesson for the dreamers as they try to become the new citizens of the United States. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. And as I said, from time to time, we will put these video commentaries, uh, and I hope you enjoy them. Thank you, and have a, a good day. Bye-bye, everybody.